track thing, you know. Yep. Uh, a lot over the last few months, a lot of interesting developments at your end. Yes. Just take us through the green bus, you know. How's the response? A lot of activity happening. Yeah, I mean, the first uh, thing to say about the green bus is, it's not just to buy a bus. You have to buy a system, which starts with uh, the local waste to local fuel to run the local bus on. So it not only, it's not only to buy a bus, you have to buy the whole concept. That's the big difference. But, but by buying this bus, you, you get a, a Make in India fuel. You take away 90% of the CO2, 90% of the particles and 80% of the NOx. And you can create also new income streams for the farmers. So it's a, a lot of wins in, in this kind of concept. So the whole, uh, the green bus concept is more than a bus for India. And we will use Nagpur as our role model to show other cities what they need to do to, ab to be able to operate buses running on bioethanol or biogas. And uh, you're trying to sell a, a whole new concept in yes. a market like India, which is yes. always perceived as a very challenging market. Yes. Something which is resistant to change, perceived that way. Yes. How has the response been? Has it been beyond your expectation or? I must say it has been beyond our expectations, especially from, from the government in Delhi, which has been very supportive, uh, changing now uh, uh, the, the law in India. In just six months, they changed the law so we can operate uh, uh, commercial vehicles on bioethanol and biogas. That's very quick in India. Uh, and also uh, when we talk about the new uh, Motor Vehicle Act, uh, and especially the bus code, and. Uh, a lot of new things which concerns uh, safety and uh, environment that I think uh, they have been very supportive in. And I think that's what we add to India. Uh, besides quality, of course, uh, it's, it's something new when it comes to environmental thinking and safety thinking. And your overall plans for the Indian market, they have been on track. Are yeah, you satisfied yeah. with that, with the kind of overall response to your metro link? Yeah, I mean, uh, we will deliver. Uh, more than 300 buses this year and the last year 40 so it's a big increase next year expect to deliver 650 buses of them 400 city buses uh, and uh, that is uh, beyond our expectation really and this is only for India uh, we will have a sales conference in uh, Bangalore next week with the whole Asia and uh, Middle East and Africa the companies from those countries, so they will start to look at our products and uh, the product we produce in India. And I'm sure that that will uh, also show some interest in uh, in taking buses outside India for export. And you say the response has been overwhelming, you know, with respect yeah, to your absolutely. metro link. What do you think has driven this kind of a response? Is it the brand or is it your sales strategy or what, what, was it the product? No, no, I just think it makes sense for India. You know this thing that India is 95% of uh, the waste goes to landfill, 7% uh, of the wastewater goes untreated, which is polluting the groundwater. And, and it can't be like this in a country that has 4% of the water reserve in the world. So water is a scarce uh, resource here in India. And so I just think that this idea of taking waste to produce fuel to run commercial vehicles, that that, that is, every Indian is very intelligent, so you understand this, uh, that this makes sense. So I think it's no sales strategy, the bus is no rocket science, it, it's just that it makes sense for everyone in India. And what, on the Metrolink side, the success? Oh, the, the success there is really that we are bringing in a new standard for weekends uh, to India. Uh, you know, our competitor has always been uh, regarded as the premium bus, but now, uh, now uh, we say that uh, now they see real premium bus and and the safety thinking and the comfort uh, and the operating economy of uh, that vehicle uh, beats most of our competition in India. But that's why the people are interested in that product. So even when I came to the to the, the Bangalore airport, I was showing my passport and then say, oh, you work for Scania. Mm -hmm. I was traveling in your Metrolink. That's the best bus ride I had in my whole life. <laughs> so, that, so that's what you want to hear. Uh, besides uh, having happy operators and, and happy politicians and things like that, you want to hear from the passengers that they really appreciate the bus, that it's comfortable, it's stable, it, uh, under braking, etc. See, it's, it's comfortable to ride in. 
Plus that we are very hard on uh, the speed limits on the bus. So uh, I, I, I refuse to put the speed limit anywhere else than on the legal demand in the state that the bus will operate on. Because I've seen some frightening examples on how buses are driven in India, which shouldn't happen. Because then accidents will happen. I think even if you come forward, uh, uh, come uh, eight, 30 minutes later, you will come there rest, mm. rested and in peace and feeling good. And I think that's much more important than 30 minutes. Mm. One, one, one more thing on the Buff World Show. Yeah. What's your aim of being here at the show? Now, our aim is here to launch the 13.7 meter Metrolink and uh, the Green Bus. Mm -hmm. To show it now, it's uh, here and now. We will showcase it in, in Nagpur, not only then how to run a bus, but also how to produce fuel. <coughs> so it will be our sort of our contribution to, to the small cities. How we take few uh, ways to, to produce fuel to run city buses. We will also operate the city buses in Nagpur. That's our aim, just to show to India how you should operate buses. We run the depots, we run the workshops, we run the filling, we run, run, employ the, the drivers, we train them, we follow up on them, etc. Just to, to make a difference. And uh, we will also connect the buses to internet so, so uh, that you can sit at home and see where your bus is and when it's expected to come to your nearest uh, station or embarking.